Welcome back to my channel, the go-to place for all things Scrum and technology. If you are interested in building a rewarding career in Scrum and technology, you've come to the right place. So please like, subscribe, and click the bell notification so that you can get notified when I upload new content. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why you have not gotten that Scrum Master job yet. And I'll be discussing several solutions to help you fix it. So, I mean, this video is not about getting you discouraged, but it's really about having an honest conversation about what is really happening and how you can fix it. So let's talk about the first reason why you've not gotten the job. And you know this already because you know you did a four day training, six week training, two month training. You lack relevant experience. You really cannot demonstrate that you're a scrum master. That is the honest truth. And it's not the fault of the person who coached you. It's not your fault or anything. You haven't done the job. So that's why you're not getting the job, right? So you have to be honest with yourself and say to yourself, right? I'm not going to get this job because employers are looking for someone who has several years of experience. So how can you demonstrate that several years of experience when you're a scrum master? Who's going to give you that opportunity? What you need to do to fix this is to start to look for opportunities to volunteer. There's always opportunities to volunteer as a scrum master. Look for agile projects. Companies, startups are looking for people that can do internships or can do volunteer projects. Look for them, get their experience. It doesn't matter if they're not getting paid because Scrum is based on the theory of empiricism, which is things that observe, things that are learned, right? The more you do Scrum, the better you get at Scrum. So volunteer projects are great for you um, to get that experience. The other reason why you're not getting the job is your training. Your training was poor, it was ineffective. And why? Because maybe you chose the wrong trainer. What I want to tell people here is this. You can't go with a trainer who lacks experience. So someone who learned Scrum six months, has been in the role one year, one and a half years or something like that, comes to you and says you can train your Scrum and you go with the person because maybe you're trying to save money. Listen. Think of yourself as being in competition with other people. You are competing with other people that want to get into the role. You definitely want to get the best of training. I ask you, please and please, before you shell out your money, whether you're shelling out a lot of money or small money, do your due diligence on your trainer. Don't accept anyone who is just advertising, scrum master training. Ask them questions. Talk to people that have trained them. Look at their reviews. Find out why they are, why their training is good before you commit. Because a person can only teach you what they know. And once you've parted with your money and there's no refund policy, there's no money back guarantee, that's all, folks. You are stuck in that training and you likely might have to go get another training. So please, research your trader. The next one is this, you have poor interview skills. So, you know, if one and two is bad, then obviously you can't interview well. So you didn't go, you didn't use a good trainer, you lack experience, you can't interview well. Employers are looking for scrum masters who have years of experience. Why? Because scrum is not an entry level position. Remember, as scrum masters, you are a servant leader. And as a servant leader, they expect some expertise, communication, influencing, time management, understanding the Scrum Guide. And not just understanding the Scrum Guide, because remember that if Scrum is based on empiricism, it's not one size fits all, right? Most people who are good Scrum Masters have been Scrum Masters on different teams, in different settings, and they bring that wealth of experience to apply it to a new team to help them self-organize, collaborate, and imbibe the Scrum values. 
So you don't have, you, you know, so, so, so if this is what a scrum master is required to do, when you are interviewing and, it's, and a hiring manager senses that you don't have experience because you're not interviewing well, you won't get the job. How do you fix this? Goes back to reason one why you're not getting the job, right? Volunteer on, on projects. But finally, to get better at interviewing, you need to practice, practice, practice. Another reason why you're not getting the job is that your resume does not stand out. And this is because you are not tailoring your resume to the job, right? So you have to make sure that when you create a resume, you can have a template resume, right? But every time you're applying for the job, you need to carefully read the job description. What soft skills, what technical skills are hiring managers asking for in this resume, in, in this for this particular job, right? And make sure that you're tailoring your resume. Don't keep sending the same resume, the same template for every job. It's almost like you're wasting your time. Why would you want to waste precious time? You want to set, send a resume that will stand out. I always tell people, you are in a competition with others. Don't forget this. You're in, you're in a competition with the next Scrum Master. So don't you want to stand out? If you're going for a race and you want to run, won't you practice? Don't you want to be the best performing athlete? So think of job application like that. Make sure you're telling your, telling your resume. I'll give an example. If, if, if the job application says remove impediments and on your resume you put I remove blockers, resume, um, sorry, impediments and blockers are the same thing, right? But the job description is saying impediments. You need to take out the blockers written in your resume and replace it with impediments so the ATS picks it up. So please, do better with your resume. Don't send across poorly done resumes for the job. The other one is networking. You're not networking enough. You're not going for scrum events. There's a lot of scrum events out there. Some of them are online and they don't take too much time. Some of them are two hours, some are even less than that. What you're doing is continuously learning at these scrum events. And there's some that happen in person which means that you have to go to a physical location. One of the good things about going for these events is that you're learning about Scrum, you're learning more about Scrum, you're learning some trends in the industry. Not only are you learning trends in the industry, you're also meeting people. You might be fortunate to meet a hiring manager there. You might be fortunate to meet companies that are recruiting. And that's a way for you to beat the ATS and get the job. So I don't know why you would rather invest your time in hanging out with your friends. I'm not saying don't hang out with your friends and have fun. But why would you prioritize that over the opportunity to get that job, to get that six figures, right? You're dead Netflix and chilling, watching movies, and waiting on the last minute and, and complaining that you can't get a job. In this market today, I keep on saying it. Unlike before when a lot of people did not have Scrum certification. It was much easier to get the job if you did the bare minimum. If you were not good, you get the job. But now, hiring managers know that a lot of people have Scrum certification. They like it because it means that they have a large pool of candidates to select from. But you need to stand out, right? You need to stand out. So what are you going to do to stand out? All of these things I've mentioned, you know, carefully review them. The other thing I'm going to ask you to do, and the final thing, is you are impatient. I know. I empathize with you. You spent money on training. You've read. You've taken your certification. You've passed. Congratulations. I really applaud you, honestly, for taking that bold step to get the career that you want, to invest in yourself. You spent time. You spent energy. That's an investment that will pay off. But just like every investment, it takes time. So be patient with yourself. Be patient and realize, like I said, that lots of people are looking for a job and you have to stand out. But I can tell you that if you stay on track, you will get the job. I found that most people who don't eventually get the ones are the ones who give up too early. You know why? Because they don't know the reason why they really wanted the job in the first place. They probably want a job because someone said that they're going to make six figures and they jumped on the bandwagon. 
And so when they can't make six figures, after trying for three months, they look for the next course to do, the next certification. I don't know how they're going to stay on track in that next certification or that next role if you don't stay on track. So be patient with yourself, right? A wise man once said, be patient with your progress, but be persistent with your purpose. Don't forget your purpose for wanting to get into this role. And so if you, if you, if you consider all of the things I've said, all of those areas that you need to fix as a scrum master, if you're able to do it, I can guarantee you that you're going to get a job. When you're going to come back and tell me, Coach Pam, I got a job, right? So, you know, in the comment section, tell me what you think about this video. Ask me any questions that you want um, and let me know how I can help you get the job. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel where you get more videos about Scrum. So there you have it. The blunt through to about why you might not have gotten the job but remember i'm not doing this video to discourage you i'm actually doing it to empower you with solutions work on these areas and i promise you that you will land your dream job as a scrum master if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up like subscribe so that you can get more career tips for scrum masters please stay determined keep learning and you get there. Thank you for watching.